will explain how it works. Doug, we begin with a Halloween horror that still haunts the Houston area 40 years later. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Gina Gaston. He is being called the Candyman, a Pasadena father of two passed out poison candy to trick-or-treaters Halloween night, 1974. The only victim killed in that crime was his eight-year-old son. Eyewitness News reporter Pooja Lodia joins us live from the infamous neighborhood. Oh, my where it God. All Pooja? There it is. Dave and Gina, it's hard to imagine a more innocent, a more trusting, a more American tradition than trick-or-treating. And as you can see, it's still going on right here in Pasadena. But on this same street, if you walk there just a go. few steps down, you'll find one of the most horrific, one of the most gruesome Halloween horror Did you put that cancer thing out, It was kind of a cold and kind of a misty, uh, damp night. It was 40 years ago tonight. Did you put that cancer and thing out in front of changed everything. Since it had been raining, huh? uh, mm -hmm. Mr. O'Brien had a raincoat on. And unbeknownst to his friends, who he was with, he had the pixie sticks shoved up the sleeve of his raincoat. Ronald O'Brien gave yeah. pixie sticks to five children, including two of his own. His eight-year-old son, Timothy, asked for one first. He said the boy responded after he ate some of it that it was very bitter and it didn't taste right. An hour later, Timothy was dead. The pixie sticks were found to be filled with cyanide. O'Brien claimed to be shocked. He gave a eulogy in church that Sunday night that had the whole congregation crying. Parents across the country vowed to never celebrate Halloween again. This home where O'Brien claimed to get the pixie stick was shrouded in suspicion. Someone took it upon themselves to, to take the trust and the fun away from a lot of parents and a lot of children. Then police learned O'Brien had just taken out life insurance policies for his children. I found an adding machine tape, <clears throat> okay? It had all his bills written out next to the numbers. On the adding machine tape, he had added them all up, and it came to almost the exact amount of what he stood to collect. A jury took less than an hour to convict O'Brien, an hour and five minutes to sentence him to death. He was just very cold and calculating, okay? And he saw a means to an end to get out of death. And it's as simple as that. How okay. it's never going to be the same? It never will be the same. Not like it was before this happened. And O'Brien claimed that he was innocent until he was killed by lethal injection. Reporting live in Pasadena, Puchal Lodia 13, Eyewitness News. And you can watch some of our ABC 13 reports during the original investigation online anytime at ABC13.com.